Islamophobia. Islamophobia refers to the hatred of Muslims and the people who practice it. And this could take many forms, from physical violence to simple prejudice and discrimination. I decided to choose this topic because I hate it when people get judged based off their skin color or ethnicity, their religion or where they come from. Why is it different when Timothy Smith is making a paper airplane when it's called origami, but as soon as Abdullah Marzouk Muhammad makes a paper airplane, everyone gets a little cautious? Why are Muslims scared to go to airports because they might be detained? Why are Muslims who choose to wear niqabs being called mailboxes by our former Prime Minister, Boris Johnson? This could be due to the fact that we judge people too quickly and not getting the time to properly get to know them. This is one of the main factors that contribute to Islamophobic behavior. And the way we do so will impact our ability to get to know others all over the world. This negatively impacts Islam as people look at extremists who claim they are Muslim and comparing those extremists to the whole of Islam. Categorizing. Places like Iran and Palestine and Pakistan are having to face the consequences of a few extremists which caused the US to bomb those countries, leading to the deaths of many thousands of Muslim lives, just because George W. Bush claimed that they had weapons of mass destruction. Children, as young as you and I, are having to live with the trauma of war for the rest of their lives. They're having to watch the deaths of their parents. They're having to live without education, without the chicken curry and rice that they have at dinner, without the paracetamol and kalpal that they have in, we have in our cupboard. This is the kind of Islamophobic behavior that still occurs today. For example, I was once asked, how could you be Sri Lankan and Muslim at the same time? <laughs> it's weird getting your identity questioned, but even weirder when the question doesn't make sense. And with this, I'm reminded of one of the greatest organizations to come out of the UK, one of the best, most powerful and helpful organizations to come out of the UK. Tesco, because at 7.30 a.m. when those gates open, you best believe that every little really does help, as you must take action to support organizations that help to promote peace and understanding between different religions and cultures. We must take action to make sure we see the world through the eyes of different people. And finally, we must all leave here today knowing that every little really does help, so we don't ask countries if they are hoarding weapons of mass destruction.